Welcome back from the break. Welcome back from the break. Now, I know there are a lot of music lovers out there, and we all love a good tune, but rarely do we stop and give credit to the minds behind the music. The production side, you know, the sound engineers, sometimes the songwriter, but mainly the producer. Today, we decided to take you on a journey with us to meet one of the biggest producers in this country, Mr. Hans Taktik. Let's log you in. It's crazy. You know, on our way here, I kept telling the producers that some of the biggest artists in our country come right here. Check out your hood. Do you ever take offense when people don't know that it's you behind a song? Because, you know, chameleon will walk into a crowd, yeah? And yeah. people are like, oh, what can be? But then you walk in and nothing. It's okay. I don't mind as long as the song is doing well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people are actually dancing to it and they really appreciate it. Then, you know, my goal is complete. Are you ever going to pull out DJ Khaled and just start shouting in videos? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, probably. Oh, That's a good idea, by the way. We should no, do it. No, it's, it's not. Are you serious? No. What about you do it? Well, let's see what happens today. You know, let's see what happens I, I, I'm, today. I'm gonna take a leap and try out uh, Hans's style of music in a bit. And uh, let's put see. the tactic. Let's Kate, meet my manager, follow the Don. That is uh, Biaxi, Fortune Spice, and Badman Oski. Can I, can I steal um, yeah. the tactic for a second? He's about to log us in and let us know what the tactics are all about. Yeah, I'm about to put the tactic <laughs> in Nava. Originally, I used to make a lot of hip hop tracks. I realized people are not moving to this beat, you know, so it's hard for people to understand hip hop kind of music. So I found a simpler way to introduce it to them because, you know, like a baby, when a, uh, when a baby, you know, is growing up, they have to first learn how to, you know, crawl before they, okay, they right. run, you know. They okay. tried to mash up the hip hop and made it a bit softer and easier for them to understand. Mm -hmm. So now Could you still dancing. go hip hop though, because I heard that track, um, Hustler's Night. Hustler's Night, yeah. Hustler's Night. Yeah. Yeah. Still, got, yeah. <laughs> still got the swag because yeah. it's ceiling. <laughs> it's I mean, if you walk in uh, here, if I walk in here, I want a track. Where do we yeah. start? How do you, where How do, do we start? You start? Okay, usually I use a program. I use two programs. I use uh, Logic. Pro 9 and uh, Pro Tools HD 8. I kind of like to incorporate the two because I don't like being limited. You're going to do the cafe eh? then I make the beat. Eh? Really? Yes. <laughs> Is that how you build? You start uh, off with. Uh, I can start anywhere. You can, you know, sing for me. I get inspired and then I start creating. Well, in a play just a bit, despite the evident trouble that the presence. First, I would like to get the tempo like yeah? uh, pop, pop. That, that looks for the tempo. Stop. around midnight spot the spotlight on the social light you know my swag you seen the cv cc all the haters in my letter to success kapala first world stage be the next am i ready <laughs> on national tv hey as ready as i'm ever gonna be <laughs> log in 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 Put your name on my page, fall asleep to my face. Log in, log in, log in. Log in, log in, log in. Log in, log in, log in. Months, maybe weeks, so I count down the days. Log in, log in, log in. Log in, log in, log in. Log in, log in, log in. Something like that. Log in, log in, log in. Log in, log in, log in. Log in, log in, log in. Put your name on my page, fall asleep to my face. You've been logged in. You've been logged in. And Tucker has been logged in. But you guys don't go anywhere because this is the part of the show that is brand new for season three. You get a chance to be the judge. Be the judge. Thank you, Trash. Can you tell me what you're doing? Is this your dream? In Kampala, you're never quite sure who you run into, but this is a surprise. Jennifer Melinda Schmidt, like sensation from Switzerland. <laughs> what are you doing here? I mean, my family lives here, so yeah. I had to come for a visit, so I'm here. 
are you are you do you get used to the fact that in Uganda you can walk anonymously, unlike in Switzerland? Like yes, I mean, of course, people in Uganda look at other people always, but um, I like it. Yes. But with your career blossoming in Switzerland, I imagine that it did not come overnight. It must have been a lot of hard work. Because you know, not too many <laughs> black people in Switzerland. And you're the first woman to be nominated for a Swiss Award. Yes. Yes, I started with seven already. I had my own show. I mean, the same like you do. Like, I hosted the show. It was called Kids. Okay. And so they just picked me from school because I was always the loudest. So <laughs> they thought, okay, this girl could do it. And yeah, so um, I was not afraid in front of the camera or... And so it started from then on and then with 12 I started a bit with modeling and so I, I just grew into it. A nussisalat, a curry soup, an espresso and a muffin. Herr Frank, bitte. Yes. Do you ever see yourself doing something that's in like totally English? Maybe something in England or in America, something that can be aired here in Uganda? Yes, now um, in November I will do my first Nollywood movie in Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. So it's on English. And I will play a woman who is um, from Switzerland, who grew up in Switzerland, but is black. So okay. I can speak with my accent. Oh, with a, with a German yes, accent? Yes, I can. <laughs> that can be easy because people have all these expectations of what a black woman is supposed to be like. Not only yeah. in Switzerland, I think even here in Africa yes. and stuff. Do you find yourself breaking the norm saying, because I know you're a stand-up comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not typical of a black woman. Do you do, you do this to, to challenge or do you do it because you love it? What drives you? Mm, I mean, the first thing is I love when people laugh. And I want to that somebody meets me and after he meets me, he feels better than, or the same, but not, I mean, so, worse. Do you identify yourself as, because you're Kenyan, Ugandan, and mm -hmm. Swiss. Do you identify yourself as Swiss, European, or Ugandan? If someone asks you where you're from, what's the answer? I think everywhere I'm a foreigner and everywhere I'm at home, so I cannot really say it. Yeah. I'm just a person from Earth. Have mm -hmm. you seen anything in Uganda? Have you experienced the, the movie industry in Uganda? Yes, I was um, in Berlin and there was one movie coming to Berlin. I was very proud of it. They only had six hundred, um, no, six thousand dollars, I think, to make this movie. and. Um, yeah, it was very funny. I think Ugandans are just funny, they like to laugh. Mm -hmm. And this movie, I was laughing. It was three hours. Oh. Yeah, it was a long time. But um, yeah, maybe that's the difference. Like Ugandans, they say, ah, kakati. And uh, yeah, they, they, they are really moving and eh, eh, and ah, B. They're really, they, and the Swiss, they are like, mm, yes, and always like, you know, and just, you know, the look in, you know what I mean? Yeah, there are a lot of aspiring actresses and actors in Uganda, and I'm sure, you know, when they see your stuff, because, yeah, we're going to show you some of her stuff. When they see your stuff, everyone's going to wonder, how does that quality come to Africa? How do you think, what do you think, how long do you think it's going to take for African stuff to actually reach that quality? I, I've, I mean, I come to Uganda maybe two times a year when I can, and since... I don't know, since I'm alive. Mm -hmm. So um, I see that this country is developing itself yes, very exactly. fast. And now, it really, like one year ago, the streets were different and everything. And now, I mean, it's everything's getting better. I mean, slowly, slowly, mm -hmm. a lot of progress. And I also think in the film industry, because people like entertainment, yeah. they like, and yeah, I think um, it will maybe take three to four years. Mm -hmm. Only. I, I'm quite sure that there's more to, to acting than just being able to pretend to be someone else. There's actual work that goes into it. Yes. So you tell my aspiring actresses out there, <laughs> I'm quite sure they think it's as easy as waking up and walking to a movie director. <laughs> no. What, they need more, right? Yeah, I think the most important thing is that you're patient. Mm -hmm. Because, and that you take it easy, that you're not desperate. I mean, at the beginning, I was just waiting on the phone and every time when it was ringing, I said, oh my God, and it was my mom, I said, no! I mean, you just have to be patient and you have to study it. Like, I, I did four years, I was in the university for four years and I had to learn how to cry. I 
glaube, sie hat sich als was Besseres gefühlt, weil sie eben Nummer eins war. Nur Anja, die war nicht unter ihrer Würde. Vielleicht weil sie studiert, keine Ahnung. And I always look at people, how they walk, how they... Yes, you have to be really into that. And you really... I think the most important thing is also the theater. Not only the movies. You have to be on stage first. You have to feel the, the audience. Also stand, as a stand-up comedian, you have to feel the audience. Sometimes they don't laugh. What will you do? So, yeah, you don't have to have panic attack. You have to solve the problem and try. Now I know you're a very busy woman. Don't let me take up too much of your time. But between the piano lessons, the movie industry, the stand-up comedy, what's the last thing that goes through your head when you go to sleep at night? The last thing? Yeah. Uh, at the moment, I'm so happy like, um, that my judge is here. My judge is 96 years old. I have to say that in the camera. 96 years old and she's so great and um, I'm just very thankful that she's now with me she's staying with us and um, I'm, I'm always happy that she's in my house and yeah I, I always think about her and my family the last thing is the family mm -hmm. That's a good it's the most the most important thing is family you sound like a woman good <laughs> oh, thank We've had the chance to be blessed by her presence, Jennifer Melinda Schmidt, so watch and log it.